Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22624.1616. Well, the last few builds and the builds that will follow for the beta channel will be smaller builds that will include a lot of fixes because we are getting really close to the release of the Moment 3 update, which should be somewhere around May or June. And Microsoft is finishing up and applying the finishing touches to the OS in order for the Moment 3 update to be a very stable and reliable one. In this video, of course, we're going to talk about what is changed and what is fixed in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, the only change in this build is regarding the live captions. Languages support has been expanded to include Danish, English, Ireland, French, Canada, Korean, Portuguese from Portugal. And talking about fixes, we have a few general fixes. If we go into the Windows Update section, turning on the new toggle under Settings Windows Update for getting the latest updates as soon as they're available, introduced in the previous build, should now offer a Windows configuration update offered via Windows Update for insiders on build 22624. This update is designed to help Microsoft make sure the toggle is connected to their backend services and a update stack package update is required. And they also fix an underlying issue which was causing a noticeable increase in Explore.exe crashes in the last flight for some insiders. Regarding input, they fixed an issue where the touch keyboard didn't correctly recognize the hardware keyboard was available in some cases, and they also updated the text input enable touch keyboard auto invoke in desktop mode MDM policy to allow to as a valid value to enforce showing the touch keyboard on tapping a knitted control even when the hardware keyboard is attached. Regarding live captions, they fixed an issue that was causing live captions to crash on first launch due to an issue impacting registry data retrieval. They fixed an issue causing live captions at a language menu icon and label to open overlap and also features have been added to the enhanced speech recognition language files to improve performance and provide out of language filtering meant to limit the incorrect captions for speech not in the caption language. Regarding accessibility, they fixed an issue that was leaving voice access's window empty after opening. They fixed an issue where voice access was crashing when using the command to go to the start of a document. And they also fixed an issue where if you turn off the profanity filter in voice access, it wouldn't work. And lastly, they fixed an issue where narrator control plus home and control plus n commands to move to the top and bottom of the web page weren't working correctly in edge so basically this is it for this latest windows 11 insider preview build for the better channel if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Mario from tech base until next time have a nice day